I'm Kathy Moore, and this is my job. Even though kids today have watches and cell phones that display the time, the best way to know when it's time to come home is when that neighborhood street light starts to glow. But what happens when one of the 2,400 street lights in town stop working? Hi, Kevin. Looks like we have a little bit of a problem here today. Hi, Kathy. Uh, we do. Fortunately, last night somebody hit one of our street light poles, so we're going to have to put a new one up. How did you find out this light was broken? We had a resident call last night about 11 or 12 o'clock saying that the light pole was on the ground and still lit. So how are we going to fix this? Well, first thing we're going to do, Kathy, is we're going to make sure there's no power here. Okay. And then there's actually a feed point down the road a little bit that controls all the lights. We can't just turn on one street light at a time. We have to turn on a whole section at one time. So we're going to check the power here. Okay. And then we're going to head down to the feed point and shut off all the power. Okay, so where's the feed point? The feed point's down this way. All right. Let's head down there. What we want to do just for safety wise, we want to make sure that we have the power off. Okay. So we're going to use our tester here. You just hit the button, go near the wires. Okay. If it goes off, you know you have power, it's not going off so we know we're okay. We're going to pull the wires out and we'll disconnect them. Okay. So really slow. Go ahead. What's going to happen to this pole? What we're going to do is we're going to take this back to our shop. We'll cut it up and it gets recycled. Okay, Kevin, what's our next step? Well, Kathy, because the poles are designed to break away when something hits them, okay. uh, the wires are not. So what we're going to do is we're going to hook up our tracer, and we're going to go a couple feet each way, 10 feet each way, yep. and so we know where our line is. So if we have to make any repairs, we know where to start digging as compared to trying to have to come back, take the light pole down, and start all over. Basically what it does is it just sends out a frequency mm -hmm. that this handheld part here will pick up that sound and it'll tell you exactly where the wires are underneath the ground. Okay. Okay? Yep. So I'll give you that and I'll give you your paint. Oh, I get to spray paint You today? get to paint today too. Okay. Go left and right. See, now here it's telling you you need to go that way a little bit. Okay. Stop. Yep. So put a spray paint mark and then walk a couple more feet to keep that sound. Forward? Forward, yep. Okay, Kathy, now that we got rid of the light pole and we, we know where our wires are going, the next thing we're going to do is you can see the plate the base is still here, okay. so we need to take this off and right down here is where the light pole actually will always snap. That is the weakest part of the light pole. What we're going to do is we're going to take off these four bolts and we'll put up the new light pole when we're done with that. Okay. So put a little elbow grease behind her. Okay. How many different style of street lights are there around town? In Cottage Grove there's five different street lights that we maintain. There are also some street lights that are owned by XL Energy. There's uh, Cobra heads, there's the concrete poles that are on 80th Street. We have Cobra heads that are at uh, mostly intersections. And then there are the shoe box, which are the older style ones that are over the 61 uh, overpass on 80th Street. So how about the stoplights? Do you guys repair those too? There are some stoplights in town here that we do maintain. We do minor uh, repairs on them. If it's anything major, mm -hmm. we contract along with the rest of Washington County, we contact uh, St. Paul. Okay. They'll come and do a majority of the bigger projects for us. So how would people report if there's a street light or a stoplight out? There's a couple different ways. You can call in at 458-2808 and that's answered 24 hours a day. Or you can go to the city's website and there's a page or a link on there to put in a work order request. The thing is, is since we work 7 to 3.30, yep. we really depend on the residents to call in and let us know their street lights are out because, we don't, again, we're not working at night, we don't know. Sure. Now you get to go for a little ride. Oh, I'm afraid to ask where I'm going. <laughs> so how often do you do this type of repair? Day to day will be light bulbs. It's hit and miss when it comes to light poles coming down. It, it varies. So you do this in the winter too? Year round. Wow. Here's my new light bulb. Oh. Light bulb changed. All right, why don't you come back down, we'll head back, turn it on, and see if we got it to work. Okay. <laughs> so how are street lights paid for? Street lights are paid for on your utility bill. You pay for your water, 
you pay for your sewer and you also pay for your street lights. So when you pay that bill, you're not necessarily paying for the one that's directly in front of your house or the next door neighbors. You're paying for all the street lights in Cottage Grove. What's the main purpose of having street lights? Street lights are mainly designed to keep traffic so they know that a curve is coming or where the road is in the middle of the night. They're also designed for pedestrians walking so they can stay on the curb. Uh, the big misconception is, is people think they're for their security of their house, mm -hmm. but they're really not. They're designed for the street and they're designed for cars and pedestrians. Well, Kathy, it looks like you fixed it. Well, thanks to you, Kevin. Is there anything else you want the residents to know about city street lights? I think the main thing is the light we fixed today is owned by the city of Cottage Grove. Okay. There are other lights in town here that are owned by XL Energy and you actually on your XL bill pay for that street light separately. Residents can tell the difference between our city street lights which we just fixed because mm -hmm. ours has more of an acorn shape okay. and XL Energies are more square. They're, it's a square box and it's usually on a black pole. Where are you off to now? More work orders, more light bulbs out. Well, thanks so much for joining me today and showing me how to repair a street light. Thanks for having me. Till next time, I'm Kathy Moore.